Today I want to ask you, how do you make money? This is a question that so many people are looking at. Different variations of that. You know, I want to make more money. How do I make money? You know, how do I get my clients to pay more? I mean, how do I, you know, be financially free? All these different kind of uh, questions around how to make money. And I'm bringing up this this question, and I want you to comment below. Is you know, how do you make money right now? Are you an entrepreneur? Are you own your own business? Do you sell product? Do you sell service? Uh, are you an affiliate marketer? Do you have a a multi-level marketing company that you work with what is your stream or streams of revenue of how you make money for your business I want you to comment below now the reason why I'm doing this video is because this is my quarter of reevaluating my business you your market your marketing your people your systems say it with me again you your market your marketing your people your systems so what I do is I take you, your market, your marketing, your people, your system, and I divide that out. So first I look at my variable, my fixed costs, and the way I do that is I look at me, my marketing, my people, and my systems, and I get a spreadsheet out, and I, which I have, and I modify the costs of my business. So I look at my fixed costs, which are my rent, my phone, my website, any of the applications, I have backup services, whatever that may be that I know it's a fixed cost every single month, no matter what. I'm always going to pay that. Now, if you have staff right, and they're on a fixed cost, you know, per hour they get paid this amount, or you have them on a salary, you know that's your fixed cost. The variable costs are costs that come up that are flexible, that keep changing. And I'll give you an example of uh, in my world is when people want brochures. Right? So people are coming to me and say, oh yeah, I have this event and I want to print out a thousand brochures. Well, they go to another event and it's 2,500. And they go to another event and it's 300. Well, those are variable costs because per, per event it's going to change. Right? So they can't budget out month to month how much they're going to charge because it can change per event, per location, attendees. I mean, all these are variable costs. So right, get a spreadsheet out and look at you your marketing, your people, your systems, and evaluate you know what your monthly costs are, your weekly costs, and your hourly costs are. Now, once you figure that out, that's your floor. That's how much you should be charging minimum to keep your business, sustain your business. Now, you need to make a profit, so add 30% to that, minimum. Now, I'm talking about in Ontario and Canada, right? There's different taxes and all that, but I know in Ontario, we have to, char we have to pay 13% tax on anything we charge out and anything we make we have to pay the government 13 percent so that's why you up it minimum of 30 percent because you have to make a profit over your taxes and everything else so that will give you your floor class so no matter what you're doing that's what you have to charge and if you're charging below that then your business is struggling and this is where you don't give discounts you don't give you know friends and family deals whatever that may be is because you're you're sacrificing your business and so many business owners that I talk to right are trying to build their business in a scarcity mindset and it's and it's hard because you I understand where they are it's intuitive right to work hard work fast give discounts try to get as many clients as you can you know fluctuating your costs right so what happens is so you just can say I have clients it's counterintuitive Right to slow down, to slow down the whole process, to be able to say, you know what, I'm going to take my time, I'm going to work with the right type of people, right? I'm going to build my business up slowly and take its time with the right people so that we can grow together, getting the right revenue models in place and always working with that. And people go into that scarcity mindset and that's where they get that intuitive, like, oh my God, I got to do this quick, 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 I have to do this fast. And that's where they struggle. And it gets nerve-wracking at some points because you're like, oh, do I say no? Oh my god, if I say no, they're gonna they're gonna walk away. It's better to be honest and be truthful and to be able to say no ethically, not rudely, and give value than it is to say no and to say yes, sorry, to say yes and struggle. And then 
do other things and, and burn out your time and not deliver this on the product and services that you really want to because you're struggling. The next I want to talk about is your look at your market. So now we're going to look at your ceiling. Right? So now you look at what the market is charging. So you look at your space, your niche, and you say, okay, well, what are they charging for products and service? And what are people, you know, buying? Are they buying at, you know, and I'll give website, are they buying at, you know, five thousand dollars per website? Are they buying at ten thousand dollars? You know, what's that ceiling that we can go so it is in their price range? And some people will come to you and they'll have, you know, their budgets of you know, hey, Brent, I can't go over X dollars, and let's just use round numbers. Say, I can't go over ten thousand dollars, but you know their website and what they're talking about is maybe a five thousand dollar job. And you tell them, you be honest with them. Okay, you know, it's not that much. It's actually it's a lot less. So we can do that, and then later on, if you want to, you know, incorporate into other marketing strategies, we can do that. Or if they come in on the other side and they're saying, hey, Brent, I have a ten thousand dollar project, and then you start to do a discovery meeting and you realize. Whoa! This is actually a twenty-five to thirty thousand to fifty thousand dollar project because you're adding multiple. You know, you're a franchise, uh, franchisor. You have franchisees. You're uh, you want to have thirty different websites. You want to create a template, but we have to get the content, do all that, the information, the images, and and build out specific URLs. And then you start to realize the time it's going to take is you know maybe thirty to fifty thousand dollar job. So to be honest and let them know that right from the discovery that, okay, well, here's your job, here's your project, and this is what it's going to cost, and how can we work with you, and making sure that, again, it's not going too low below your, your, your floor, and that you're, you're, you're charging the right rates. You're not going too high past the ceiling, right, into the sky, we'll call it, but you're getting to that nice, comfortable rate that you're able to say, okay, here's the value, here's what I want to offer you, and here's how much it's going to cost. And then you can modify as you go in the sense that maybe they want to add something in and you can take something out. So maybe they want to add uh, e-commerce, but you can take out social media marketing. But you have to realize when you do that, how much is it going to cost? If e-commerce, if social media marketing is going to take you maybe a day to set up, Make sure your social icons on, backlinks. They they have all their social sites, and it's gonna take you a day, maybe two, to set up with all the images, the banners, the about, the you know, the how tos. But then when an e-commerce, and you know that's gonna take 30 days because there's a lot more. Make sure that you're evaluating the changes in the project, and that they're in the same ballpark of cost. Because again, I've done this, and I've seen people in the past where they're like, oh yeah, we can do this. Oh yeah, we can do this, and they take it on, and they realize they just made that five thousand project a fifteen thousand dollar project, but they told the client the budget's only going to be five thousand dollars. So again, make sure that you're ethically and honest about what's going to cost. And as changes come in, and before you even give them the the sign off on the proposal, that you tell them if there's any changes or any modifications, this is what's going to cost, and this is what's going to include. Make sure you say no. Um, be clear and concise with your pricing. So many of us have been in a business situation where we want to get people, get clients, as you might call them, I call them business friends, but get them on and try to get as many as we can. So we, we are f always flexible with our pricing. So what we do is we go, on a, for example, we'll say, oh, yeah, I'm $60 an hour. And they go, well, I can't afford it. Okay, well, $40 an hour. Well, it's still a little high. Well, $30, no, well, okay, well, $20. And they're like, yeah, okay, I can do $20 an hour. So maybe your floor, you know, with your profit is 60%. Now, maybe your floor without a profit is, sorry, $60. And maybe your floor without a profit is $45, $50, right, dollars an hour. And now you went even below at 20 just to get that client. And I want to hit that home because so many of I've been there. I've done that, right? When I started out with my business, I, I was sitting there going, oh, my God, I need to get clients. I need to do this. And I reduced my rate to so low where I had to get other jobs just so I could pay to work with that client. So I had to pay to work with my client, right? So really think about that. So I'm going to end the video off right now. Just keep it you know, clear and concise. I want you to comment below and let me know how this video has helped you, right? Have you evaluated your business? Have you evaluated your, your 
variable costs, your fixed costs, your floor and your ceiling. And this Is this going to help you grow your business from this quarter moving on? I really thank you. Thanks so much. I mean, I really appreciate you watching this video and I look forward to speaking to you soon.